All right, I've been trying to do this for a while, but it's really hard with the cell service. Um, we are trying to save a calf that's stuck under a tree. Sorry, it's gonna be really bumpy. This is a neighborhood. I don't know if you could see this or not, but literally they just cleared the road. There are power lines that are down. Once I get into a little clearing, there's uh, RV trailers, twice the size of mine, flipped over. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to Panama City. But um, I know I haven't been to Panama City yet, but this is uh, all wind damage. The lady that was there said a lot of the cows were picked up and thrown all over the place. The wind was so high, but it's almost like a bomb went off. It's unreal. So everyone keeps asking me, you know, what do we do? These people have absolutely nothing down here. No power, no water, no food, no clothes, no house. Uh, this is probably the worst one that I've been to. Um, they're projecting they're not going to have power out here for months. So. These are some of the smaller homes, but there's no roof on that anymore. There's cars and trees. This isn't the worst of it. I can't put a video up until it's on the way back because we're working on this calf. I had to go down the road and hopefully get a guy with an excavator to come and lift this tree off this cow. Um, it is alive. Hopeful that it's gonna make it. It's drinking water, eating food. Everything's been out in the elements with a tree pinned on it for three days now. So we need a lot of stuff down here. I think chainsaws are like gold. We've already gone through two of them. But you can't buy gas, you can't buy chainsaws, you can't buy chains, you can't buy oil for the chains. Um, now there's part of somebody's roof. Um, like I said, it's like this all over. We're still working on the foster. We had to leave to go take care of this cow. It's about 10 minutes down the road. Um, uh, there's some more. I'm going to try to get a video of where the cow is, but... We're working on it. Here's where the cow is behind that tree. There's people from Missouri helping us. I'm gonna drive through this field, but it's a mess. So I can't stress enough how much is needed down here. I mean, just sheer volume. I don't know if you could see way over here this building. That was a barn. It's gone. So I'm gonna try to get back to this cow. I have some pictures. That we have one. We're all cutting and See, there's a whole neighborhood behind here. They can't even get out of their houses. The ones that did stay. I don't know how they stayed. I think they're crazy. But this is why we tell you to leave. Uh, these are all volunteers. The guys with this truck paying for everything out of their pocket. They've had no assistance whatsoever. They're doing it out of the kindness of their heart. And these are the only people we've seen. Zero police, zero firefighters. They're just way, way, way overworked. So I'm going to try to get this cow out and I'll be back.